guys, Julia here from JM Squared Vintage. Welcome back to the channel. I am here today with a little bit of a ship with me. Um, I've got some really cool pieces that came in over the weekend. One of my favorite vintage pieces that I've ever found is headed out the door. Uh, it always, it's always like a little bittersweet when one of these leaves. I think one of you said it right. It's just like a little piece of my heart is leaving with it. But uh, some really cool pieces. I'm excited to go over like what sold, how long they sat in my inventory, how much um, I got for them, how much I paid for them, just to kind of walk you through what my internal process is. It's another really gloomy, gross, rainy day here in Southern California. I hope if any of you are up in the hills that you are safe. Um, if you are unaware, there's been lots of like mudslides up in Hollywood Hills and in the Santa Monica Mountains. Um, you know, so just keep my fingers crossed that everybody out there is super safe and maybe by the time this video goes live we will maybe see that glowing ball of incandescent plasma in the sky once again. So pray for sun. But before we get started, if you are new here, if you are into thrifting, if you are into reselling on the internet, if you are into cool vintage pieces, be sure to hit subscribe down below. I would love to have you along on this journey. We talk all things thrifting and vintage and reselling and we have this cool community of amazing people and we'd love to have you along for the ride. But guys, as per usual, despite the fact that it looks like the end of days outside <laughs> and my backyard is a lake, um, I'm running late and I need to get these things off to the post office. Uh, nighttime is quickly approaching. So let's get into the shipments. So the first thing we're shipping out here is this will be familiar to some of you is this incredible pillow purse. This was something I found and I thought it was a trinket box when I first got it. And I picked, when I got it home, I mean, it's super cool. It's like, it's all like embossed, it's brass, it's lined in this like really plush, like blue velvet. When I got it home, I realized that there were little loops here for a chain. And of course there was no chain involved. So I figured I would give it away to one of you guys. Maybe you could do something very cool with it. And sure enough, uh, one of you won. And I am getting this packed up ready for transit. I'm going to give this a little bit of a waterproofing bag just because it is brass and it can tarnish. And I know that where it's going between here and where it's going is nothing but moisture. <laughs> so we are going to give it a little bit of a kind of a waterproofing bag here. Oh, I hope you love this. This thing is so cool. And I just, you know, I don't have the creativity to fix that. So glad some of you do. I think this should be a pretty safe box for it. This was just such a cool find. I've literally, I've never seen anything like this. I've been thrifting my whole life, including like as a, as a child, if you go, if you were to go to my mom's house, you would see nothing but like thrifty pieces. And I've never seen anything like this. So very happy that this is gonna go to a home where it's going to be loved and hopefully used. So super cool, hope you love it. So next up here, this was such a cool find. And so I don't do a ton of maternity pieces, uh, but when I find a maternity piece from a brand like Beyond Yoga, I'm all ears. Beyond Yoga is a very expensive brand. People are really like, the way that people love certain Lululemon fabrics, people love this like buttery soft Beyond Yoga um, fabric. I don't. Like it's just so brushed and super, super soft and almost like plush. But these are a pair of jogger pants and they have the maternity band up top. And this was just such a cool find because you know, the thing about certain maternity things, if you can find them from like really high end designers or something like a Beyond Yoga, is you're never gonna get them in bad condition. It's not like people have these and they wear them for like, six years and before they donate them you know for the most part now i know a lot of people keep their maternity pants at least you know through uh their maternity leave you know while their body is healing from all of what just happened to it but you're still not getting something with years and years of wear on it so in general when you find something like this they're in really great shape and they're gonna sell so these i think retail for a hundred and ten dollars and 
they're gonna sell quick because people have urgency. You know, all of a sudden their belly pops and they need to get something to support it, whatever. You know, it's not like they're gonna be able to spend two or three months kind of like comparison shopping. Like that's just off the table when your belly pops and you are ready to go, <laughs> ready to get something to support it. So this was just a really good find. Like I said, I don't do a ton of maternity, but this in particular, like if you ever find like a Viore pair, this is Beyond the Bump by Beyond Yoga, anything like that, snap it up because it'll go super quick. So I had these for just over a week, which was, you know, really as fast as I kind of expected to sell this. I had them for just over a week. I had them listed for 65. Um, I wasn't quite sure what they were gonna go for. Again, they retail for 110 and they are in like, like new condition. Um, but within a, about a week, I had an offer for $54, which I gladly accepted. With a $1 cost at the bins, that brought my profit to $46. I hope she loves these. Beyond Yoga is just the bomb. You know, if you know, you know. But I hope she loves those, and I hope she is having a good pregnancy. Next up here, this I thought was so pretty. This is a little Free People piece, and I think this is a slightly older Free People piece but I could not resist it. I thought this fabric was so beautiful. It feels like art. Um, you know, it's this really lightweight, loose weave, gauze cotton in this beautiful, like fresh blue, green, yellow, like watercolor print, but the back has a fly away. You can kind of see that. I've never seen anything like this, so I picked it up. Um, just because I like stuff like this is always gonna go because there's always, you know, like, this just feels very artistic. Like I could see an art teacher wearing this, just kind of has that vibe to it. Um, and I'm glad I did. It actually had a ton of action on it. Um, lots of likes, lots of views, a lot of action, a lot more than, you know, some of the typical free people stuff that I'll pick up. So I had this for about a month. And I had it listed for 29 and I got an offer for $23.20, which I gladly accepted. Um, super happy to get this on to a new home. This is so pretty. It's like right in time for spring. Uh, just something she could throw on with like a cute little pair of jeans and call it a day. I really like this top and I'm glad it's going out and getting some more use. So I got this at the bins for a dollar. And I will tell you, this thing was like crumpled up in a little ball when I found it. So it took some serious time with my steamer uh, to get it looking sharp, but $23.20, which I accepted. I had a dollar cost of the bins and that brought my profit to $19.40. Super pleased with that. Next up is a piece from my own closet. This is a little Calvin Klein little black dress. And I gotta say, you know, Calvin Klein, I, I wasn't sure what this would go for because I have never sold, you know, kind of anything like this. This isn't necessarily the kind of thing that I'm gonna pick up while I'm out, um, out of the bins or out shopping. And maybe I should, because <laughs> I will say, you know, the one thing about these Calvin Klein dresses, and this is like truly made to be like the workhorse of your little black dress collection. You know, it's got a little bit of stretch to it. It's a nice kind of heavyweight crepe. It's got great seaming. You know, they go, I think they retail somewhere in the vicinity of like $200, but you can, you can oftentimes find them, you know, on sale or at TJ Maxx, maybe not necessarily this dress, but you can sometimes find them for like 60, 70 bucks. But everything, when I started to look at sold comps on these, they were in that kind of $50, 40 to $50 range. So I put that price on there, and I think I paid $88 or $90 for this at Nordstrom Rack a couple years back for a wedding or some kind of function. Um, so I put $50 on there, just kind of throwing it out. Like I said, you know, this was from my own closet, so there was no like rush to get it out the door. And I put it up about two months ago and got an offer, or sorry, my sidekick sent an offer for $44, and that was accepted. So I'm super pleased with that. I mean, it's a great dress. It's one of those dresses that will be in your closet forever, as long as it fits you, because, you know, it's made to last, it washes well, it wears like it's brand new, um, you know, it fits really nicely, it's very flattering cut. So I'm super pleased about that, I, you know, I always hate having things hanging in my closet. That's how I got started on Poshmark 
honestly, like I just, I had nice things that I didn't want to like donate because I knew kind of the process of what happens after something gets donated. And you know, this is a perfect example of something that I was really excited to like move on to somebody else so it can continue to get used. Anyway, so I had this listed for $50. My sidekick sent an offer for $44. I had it listed for about two months and that brought my profit to $35.20 on this. Again, super happy. I hope this gets another like 10 wares and then moves on. I hope she sells it to somebody else and it gets another 10 wares. Next up, now this was one that I've had for a while and I knew as soon as this whole mob wife thing started to trend that this was gonna move. This is from Good American. Um, and I got this probably in the summer, this past summer. I've had it for about six months, which is a little bit surprising that it lasted this long. It is brand new with tags, Good American. It's size four, which I believe is an extra large. Uh, little spaghetti straps, cheetah print. Uh, but you know, right around the new year, if you follow these kind of core styles that go viral on TikTok or whatever, um, and if you don't, don't worry, I will keep you abreast. But this whole mob wife trend started to bubble up. You know, moving on from this clean girl aesthetic to mob wife, which is interesting because you're going basically from quiet luxury, you know, all about muted neutrals, high quality pieces, you know, timeless style, etc., etc., to essentially loud luxury. Mob wife is all about excess. It's cheetah print, it's fur, it's gold, it's bling. Um, <laughs> I find it funny as somebody, again, from the Philly area for whom leopard print, cheetah print has always been a neutral. Welcome to my club. Anyway, I knew that this would go pretty quick. As a matter of fact, this was kind of coming up on my uh, relist cycle. And one of the, you know, this was one of the ones that I wanted to add in mob wife to the, um, to the keywords. Definitely if you have anything cheetah print or anything that kind of falls, anything that like Carmela Soprano would have worn, you know, get in there and add that, add that keyword because people are searching for it right now. So I had this listed for 65 bucks. Again, it was brand new with tags. It was over $100 new, really pretty kind of like bias cut, satin cut. Um, so I had it listed for $65. I had it for about six months and I got an offer for $50, which I gladly accepted. Now this one I paid up a little bit for because it was new with tags. So this I had a $10 cost on with a $50 sale, $10 cost has brought my profit to $30 even. I'm super pumped for this dress to get out there. Like it was so cute and it was almost my size. And if it was my size, it would have stayed. I'm excited for you, whoever bought that. That's such a cool dress. Next up, this is a perfect little classic evergreen piece. This is a linen sweater from Lucky Brand. And this is just so classic and almost like beachy sweater. It's kind of like lightweight. It's got that kind of crocheted sleeve there, a little button detail in the back. Um, I thought this was so cute. I don't pick up a ton of lucky things. I'll pick up some of their nicer boho pieces. Uh, they sell really well for me in the summer, uh, but this I thought was really nice. It was a linen sweater, you know, twist my arm. I was glad to pick this one up. I had this for about two months. I knew it was a classic enough style that it would go no matter what. I wasn't anticipating it really selling until the summer because it feels like a summer sweater. But I had it listed for $26 and my sidekick sent an offer for $23, which was accepted. So I'm super pleased about that. I'm happy that this is getting back out into the world. Um, I, ha I got this at the bins for $1 and that brought my profit to $15.38. And this is, you know, this is one of those perfect examples of like, you know, use your judgment. Like certain brands have things that will sit and they also have things that will move in two days. So, you know, that's really something that you kind of gain from experience. This was a perfect example of something that sat a little bit longer but I knew it would go, you know, as you do this, as you get a little bit more comfortable and I'll try to kind of share that information with you as we do these ship with me's, you know, it's just kind of a make your judgment. The last thing I ever want you to do is to go out and pick up a lucky brand sweater and have it sit in your closet for a year and a half. 
So I only grab that because of the fabric content, because of the style, right? So just kind of a judgment call. Next up here, oh, I love me some James Purse. This is standard from James Purse, which is kind of like his, you know, loungewear. It's ultra high end. I mean, I wish you could feel this. This is the softest French terry I've ever maybe felt in my life. So this is like a pretty kind of sage green, scoop neck, sweatshirt style top. It's a size four, which I believe in James Purse is an extra large, which means that this is a little bit of a slimmer fit. Uh, so I made sure to note that in the listing. Always make sure, you know, if you have something like this, when you look at it, looks like it should be kind of an oversized, like cozy fit, and it's not. So be sure, you know, it's one of those things that like, People, obviously people on uh, Poshmark can't return for fit, but on eBay they can. So just try to be mindful of fits, especially if something appears, like appears like it would fit a different way. If something looks like it should fit slim, but it's actually a very oversized, you know, same thing. Always, you know, also in cases like this, um, you can also list the measurements that really helps you know, people will often ask for me measurements and I always do try to be like very quick with a reply on those, but James Purse is one of those brands that I'm gonna get, as long as the price is right, I'm gonna get that every day because they're gonna move really quickly. Uh, they don't sell for as much as they used to, at least the standard brand, but they're still gonna sell for a pretty good price. But anyway, I had this live for one week. I had it listed for $34 and I got an offer and we went back and forth a few times and ultimately landed on $24, which I accepted. Uh, again, happy to move this in a week. I got this for a dollar at the bins and that brought my profit to $17.24. I could live in James first standard stuff. It's just the best, the best. If you are looking for like comfortable loungewear, check it out. You can get great deals on the secondhand market. The stuff is so nice. Next up, now this was kind of an experiment for me. This I had found on one shopping trip, I had found a couple silk Victoria's Secret nightgowns. And I had heard, and now I know that there are the gold label nightgowns that people are really, really excited to find. But this, I don't think was that old. I wanna say that this was maybe early 2000s, just going by the tag. Uh, the other one I found was definitely from the 90s, but I think the later 90s, it wasn't gold. It wasn't that gold label that everybody's seeking, but still, these pieces that I got have gotten so much action on them. Uh, so many likes, so many views. So that just goes to show, you know, I've never really picked them up before. And, you know, I got them as an experiment and I'm pretty sure I promised to kind of report back on my findings. So that's kind of where I am now. I will say guys, if you are out and you are seeing, now I wouldn't buy anything that's not like silk, I would only really buy the kind of nicer pieces, but this is a winner. I'm gonna be keeping my eyes out for more Victoria's Secret stuff. You know, obviously if it's silk, check the condition because silk is such a delicate fabric, but if you're finding stuff, especially vintage stuff, you know, for the right price in silk in good condition, get it. So I had this, for only about three weeks. It was only in my store for about three weeks and it was one of my most like liked, you know, pieces that I've ever had. And I had it listed for $36. Again, I really didn't know what this was gonna go for. Again, for three weeks and then I got an offer for $27 with a $1 cost from the bins that left my profit at $19.63. This was just so beautiful. I mean, it's one of those things and I am so guilty of doing this, despite the fact that I don't really sew, is like that silk was so beautiful. I was like, maybe I just hold on to it for the fabric. <laughs> and I need to stop doing that because I don't really sew and I'm not gonna do anything with the fabric, but I'm just such a fabric nerd that I'm like, I can't let this beautiful like hand-painted watercolor silk sit in a bin. I need to find somebody who sews <laughs> for any of these pieces that I have. Okay, so next up here, this was a cool find. And this was one of those ones where I kind of went by feel. I felt this and I'm like, this is really nice uh, fleece. This is a French terry. Um, and the brand on this is Perfect White Tea, which I had never heard before that day. 
And I gotta say, like, they retail for well over $100. And I had a lot of interest in it and ended up, I so I had this list, I had it for about two weeks and I had it listed for $49. I wasn't quite sure that was kind of, you know, the, the other sold comps were in like the 35 to $45 range, but none of them were this cutoff style. So I was just kind of making my best guess. So much of what we do is just like making our best guess and adjusting if we're, if we're wrong. You know, we learn if we're wrong because things don't move. So I kind of just like threw out that number because that's what the full size hoodies were kind of going for. And within two weeks, I got an offer for $38, which I was happy to take. It's such a cute, I, I mean, talk about a, a brand to be on the lookout for. Really nice, apparently it sells through really quick. Um, quality's there, and everybody's looking for like high-end loungewear these days. So I, I had it for 49, I got the offer for 38, which I gladly accepted. I got this for a dollar at the bins and that brought my profit to $33.27. Great find here. Next up, this is another brand that I had never heard of, but when I picked it up, the quality felt so nice. This is a brand called Serena and that's spelled X-I-R-E-N-A. See if I can show you that tag. That's the tag there. See the little red dots there and there's, if you look all around the shirt, there are other little like red accents. So the quality, the finishing on this shirt is really like, and it's not anything that you're really gonna be able to see unless I get you like on top of the collar, but like just the way that this is finished is, you can feel the high end on it, right? Like it's, it is nice. This is nice construction, really high quality, lightweight cotton, and a beautiful, just a basic white shirt. It is an extra small, so I wasn't sure, like, I had run a comp on it, I, or I had searched for it while I was in the bins. I did the find this in the bins. And I didn't really see any sold comps necessarily, like, in Poshmark, but I was, I found, like, the website where they sold this shirt, and this shirt was, like, $180. So I grabbed it, you know, even if I'm not gonna get $180 or if I'm not gonna get like half of that, like I don't, I don't care. Like that's still a marker that something is high end and in demand uh, if they're able to charge $180 for a lightweight cotton shirt. Put this up for 65 bucks. I just, I just took a stab in the dark and I had it live for about two months. And again, this is lightweight cotton, so I wasn't necessarily anticipating moving it until like warmer days. Um, and I, like, it's a high-end white button down, it's gonna go. Uh, that's not a question mark. But I had it for two months, and an offer popped through for 45 bucks, which I was super happy to take, you know, in February. <laughs> I'll take it. Um, but I had a dollar cost at the bins from this, and this left my profit at $39.30, and that is definitely a brand to be on the lookout for. I've never seen it before, and I haven't seen it since I found this but I will for sure be keeping my eyes out for it and I hope you do as well. Let me know if you've ever found that brand before because uh, super nice. Next up, now this I knew was gonna go lightning quick. This is a this is a cute little kimono and it's from World Market. I've had a couple kimonos from World Market so really quick, but the thing for me was the colors on this. And it's funny, I've had people like reach out to me saying, you know, hey, did you ever list that like periwinkle kimono and I'm like I did and it sold within like an hour or two of me listing it um, and I kind of wasn't surprised about that. I like that this had the kind of real kimono, I mean it, it's not the real kimono sleeves, real kimono sleeves are open kind of in the pit there but this has the look of that and the colors for me were really what did it and it was in great shape but it has this like periwinkle blue, it has this kind of light peach, which is the Pantone color of the year, that fuzzy peach color. So guys, keep your eyes out for it. Make sure you're listing that in your keywords um, if you have anything in that color. But this sold so, so quickly. And I love picking up things like this because you know I know that they're gonna move fast and I know that they're super cute. And th these are like, these are what I call outfit makers. You know, you can be in like, jeans and a white t-shirt and throw that over and all of a sudden it's like a look. It's not just, I'm running to get the groceries. 
also it's great for just you know when you want to cover your bum or whatever the case may be like they're they're flowy and they're fabulous and there's a reason that people love them I always say if you can you know obviously use your judgment you know don't buy ones that feel cheap don't buy ones that are damaged um, don't go spending twenty dollars on them if you're looking to resell if you're if you're looking to buy for yourself like that's that's a different story but don't go spending twenty dollars on them you know in the super in the in the bins or in the thrift store because you know that they're going to move fast you're not going to make that much money but uh, you know if you're getting them for a dollar two dollars three dollars like that's a guaranteed sale and it's going to be a quick sale double down if you can find one that's velvet that kind of burnout velvet kimono like i've never had one last more than like a day in my store um, so just something to put on your list of things to grab as you are outsourcing or if, if you're shopping for them, you know if, and you see one you like jump on it because it's not going to be there tomorrow so anyway i had this for 24 dollars listed um, it was up for I think one or two hours. I got an offer for $20, which I accepted. $1 cost from the bins, that brought me to $17.67. And finally, I know you've been looking at this all video. Do you see her? Is this not the most beautiful? Look at that. I just wish you could feel how like light this was. This. Every time I have this out, it kind of reminds me of the scene in The Sound of Music where I think it's Liesl and her boyfriend are dancing in the gazebo and her skirt is just so floaty and full. This gives me that vibe. So this is a beautiful, I believe, handmade dress from the, I want to say, early 60s in this beautiful, like, daisy print. It's got this, like, drapes. I can't even deal with this. Um, and you're going to have to bear with me because this is going to be a little bit of a bear to pack. I want to make sure that I put a little extra waterproofing on it. But I, like, this is the kind of thing that just, <laughs> like, lights, lights me to my core. You know, I, I got my started, I got my start selling vintage. Um, you know, vintage is just what I really love. I mean, I mean, it's not something I can't necessarily make a living only doing vintage unless I really, really commit to the kind of lifestyle that it requires to like source only vintage. Um, but man, do I love when I find these pieces out on my typical rounds. Yeah, I mean, like if I, if I wanted to do only vintage fashion, I'm gonna need a lot more storage space. Because the thing is like when you source something that's vintage like this, um, you know, that's handmade. That's not, that's not made, I mean, it's probably made off of a pattern, but it was made custom for somebody's body. Something like this, they're gonna sell for a little bit of a higher price, and it's gonna take a little while to sell. And that's okay, you know, for me, like it's, anytime somebody would like contact me asking me for a picture or like information on this or like a different measurement or whatever, like for me, it's always just a delight to be able to like pull it out of the closet and twirl it around a little bit. Nerd alert. It's, you know, this is such a joy for me to be able to move these pieces and get them like back into somebody's closet. This is in really good condition. So it, it, like I got this at the bins. I got this at the bins for a dollar and I'm that person that's going to pull that out and be like, you know, I'm going to squeal when I find it. I'm going to do a little extra waterproofing on this because it is so delicate and it's going... Yeah, it's going to a rainy place. So let me put this in a couple poly bags to make sure that it gets there unscathed. Always gotta take care of my vintage dolls here because this is irreplaceable. You will never find this again. Or handmade and just as beautiful as beautiful, beautiful can be. And if you notice, I'm doing this, so I put a poly bag on there with the seam kind of folding up this way. And then I'm gonna reverse it with the seam coming up this way. So there's really, you know, if any moisture gets into the box, um, it's going to have a very, very, very long way and a very convoluted way to go before it actually touches the dress. So that's kind of my way that I waterproof these kind of extra special pieces. I'm going to do a box seven here for it. in there very gently 
put another piece of wrapping on top of it. So that should be pretty well protected, even if it's squished in process. Sorry, just wanted to get a little, a little note in there. Uh, we went back and forth a few times, so I hope she loves this. So anywhere that you have kind of a crack on the box, I'm, anytime I'm shipping something that's like vintage and really truly irreplaceable, um, I'm gonna put like tape over every crack. So this I had for about three months, which was actually a pretty quick sell for a vintage piece, especially like a non-stretch vintage piece. Um, but I had it listed for $90, which, you know, was right around where I'll put most of the things, somewhere between like 75 and 150, depending on the dress. But I had this for $90. She sent me an offer for 75, which I accepted. Um, I'm just really excited for this to get back out into the world and be worn again and be twirled again. But I got this at the bins for a dollar, which just blows my mind. Uh, but I, you know, with that, with that cost, that brought my profit to $55.39. I love it. I'm so excited for this dress. That is it, guys. That is the shipment for today. Thank you so much for hanging with me while I literally, like, get my work done. I hope you enjoyed getting to see this little beauty off uh, as much as I did. I just, I do. I always send a little piece of my heart with these pieces because they are just, like, they are the best. But don't forget to follow along on my socials. I will have my handles right here. I'll put the links below. If you had fun, don't forget to hit like. That really helps me out. Of course, don't forget to subscribe. I'd love to have you along with us. I've got to get running. I'm about to get soaked because it's pouring right now. Uh, but without further ado, have a fabulous week. Happy hunting. And I will see you in the next one.